This video is going to show a little more detail on how we did our flip up beds for our camp, conversion camper toy hauler. Um, right now it shows the beds in the up position. So this is the, uh, the side. There's two side beds and then one middle cushion. The side flips up and then the middle cushion goes up on top. Uh, so this is the bottom side of the middle section and then the cushions go against the wall. So I'll kind of show each section and how we put those together. The hardware I use to hold the beds up against the wall is just one inch nylon straps with the nylon buckles. Um, one of the reasons that I went with straps and buckles um, was, well, I had a box full of straps and buckles for one, uh, but I didn't want uh, noisy hardware banging around uh, and scratching the walls and making noise when the camper shifted and, and that kind of stuff. So straps and buckles. The beds are pretty much all made of half inch plywood and one by fours. I don't think I used any two bys in the, in the building of it. Unless you're building the house, two bys are usually overkill. Uh, so each section has um, a half inch plywood uh, main section. Uh, it's got some framing around it, which is uh, ripped down one by four. Um, Got a little bit of reinforcement on the outside, a little edge to hold the cushion on. Uh, and then this is the, the leg. So each outer section has a leg. Uh, the legs are two pieces of half inch plywood uh, glued and screwed together to make a, a one inch section. Uh, there's a piano hinge that runs on the back side of it. So I probably did not need to go with, half, with full one inch thickness, um, but I did want it to be a little heavier just so it would stay in place better uh, but then I did also cut out some uh, reliefs in the middle um, for to lighten it up a little bit um, and also just to give it a little bit of style points uh, so piano hinge holding the hinge in place uh, when the hinge folds all the way down uh, it does come up against that as a stop uh, so it pretty much has to go go to 90 I'll lower this down. All right, this is without the cushion on it. So you can see it's a half inch plywood, pretty much framed with a one by four, a variety of kind of lighter weight material, uh, piano hinge again. So I think they're all, uh, I think four 48 inch piano hinges went into the, the making of this. So each of these flip up sections has a one piano hinge um, for the flip up and then one piano hinge for the uh, the leg So when this flips up goes up against the wall, so this is three and a half inches wide uh, which both um, You know is the dimension of the one by four underneath it um, But it also is about right for the four inch cushion when it goes up against the wall Okay, this is the support part of the flip up side so you can see that it's basically one by fours kind of framed almost like a wall there um, let's see if I can show it underneath there so it's basically framed one by fours a one by four chunk in the back uh, so the this this section holds it tight to the wall, and then the one by fours themselves go down onto the floor. So the weight of the bed completely rests on the floor. Um, the wall section just holds it in place. Uh, all the weight's transferred down onto the floor. Uh, I do have a vent covered up, but that vent is sealed. I don't use that. Uh, so this piece that I put on top is uh, primarily for looks. I just kind of want to close it up, make it make it look a little nicer. I don't think it's needed at all, structural wise. Okay, I got that cover piece back on. Uh, that sits underneath this uh, one by four, which runs along the top. And this is the main support uh, for the wall side of the bed. That's the back side of that piano hinge. And when the bed folds down, that the bed actually sits on top of that one by four. Uh, so when the bed comes down, 
that's where the weight is. It's, that's how the weight's transferred into the floor, basically. It sits on top of that. Uh, some of it, I'm sure, goes through the piano hinge, but not much. The middle section is basically a chunk of half-inch plywood with three stringers, top, middle, bottom, uh, and then the edges sit on the lips on the edges of the, the flip-down sections. So it's actually kind of framed, framed with one stringer across the middle is the reinforcement on there. Oh, there it is. The cushions, we custom ordered the cushions from Foam Factory, the foamfactory.com. Uh, so they're four inches thick. They're the high quality um, foam. The dimensions, we just sized it to match you know, what we had for, for our bed, uh, which is essentially, I think it ended up being 55 by 82. So it's the full width of the of the camper. So they came in as as raw foam, and then uh, my wife made the cushion or the covers for them. So zippered covers, uh, box corner cushion covers. Uh, took us a little figuring, but we were able to do it. Neither of us are really sewers, but uh, we came across some good instructions on a website called Sailrite.com. Uh, they actually sell sailing equipment, kind of a neat site. Um, a really good uh, tutorial there on making these making these cushions. So we ordered the zippers and and whatnot from them. Uh, and then the fabric we got from Amazon, bought a whole bolt of this gray canvas and sewed it up. So there it is, that's the bed. It's extremely comfortable. Uh, we enjoy sleeping on it. These cushions are firm and they're actually just a touch on the firm side. We did, uh, we did put a topper on it, you know, a soft foam topper. Um, and it's it's about right. We sleep really well in here uh, So it wasn't too bad to, to make I kind of wish I had done a video while I was assembling the bed, but I didn't uh, so hopefully you uh, Got any questions answered if you had any uh, if you have uh, any comments go ahead and leave them. Thank you